We're making a 3D giant screen film about an incredible region in North America called the Prairie Potholes. It really is the heartbeat of North America. To make this film, we have three crews that are out in the field all over the place. I'm one of them. I'm actually director and director of photography, but I've got two incredibly talented cinematographers, Neil Reddig and Michael Mayle, who are both at the top of their field in terms of wildlife cinematography, and they both specialize in birds. When I see a shot and I know everything is working right, I say, that's gonna make it in the film. Neil will be in Wisconsin filming cranes while Michael is in North Dakota filming ducks. Michael builds these crazy blinds. Just looks like a giant mass of vegetation moving through the water. This contraption here is my floating blind. It allows me to move around on these ponds and get close to the waterfowl. I've got this, this little area where I can operate. I see a lot from this blind. What I really enjoy about this type of filming is, uh, is the immersion. I can get up close and, and be right there amongst the, the waterfowl. Okay, it looks like she's turning now. Oh yeah, good, the roll on this. It's a story about how these disparate parts of North America are interconnected and actually uh, stitched together literally on the, the wings of migrating birds. So we're gonna be traveling all over the place. Wherever the birds will go, we will go. All right, Brandon, let's make her fly. Well, this is the moment of truth when our very expensive 8K camera gets hoisted up into the rainforest canopy. After a grueling day of rigging in the pouring rain, the whole point of this is to uh, allow the audience to fly through the rainforest alongside a yellow warbler. Three, two, one, dolly. 8K on that one, huh? That's right. Yep, <laughs> don't drop it. So today, we're working on filming the sort of daily routine of a yellow warbler family. They constantly feed their chicks, like every five minutes or so, and it gives us a lot of opportunities to get different angles. One's a phantom slow motion camera that can shoot up to a thousand frames a second, and the other is a red camera um, with a probe lens that lets the, the front element of the lens um, get within inches of the nest. The warblers are surprisingly not too concerned with <laughs> what our cameras are doing. Go, go, go! Nice, everybody! Mallards are totally different than geese or cranes. So you have to take a really specialized approach to working with them. We've got a cable cam strung between trees. This is probably the most complicated rigging shot we've done. It's gonna make for incredible footage for our film. Go, go, go! We want to give the audience the sensation of flying through the Arkansas flooded forest with a flock of mallards. This kind of work with ducks really hasn't been done before. These are Richardson ground squirrels. They're a little bit smaller than prairie dogs. One of the main things we want to go for are the babies playing, because it's really magical to watch that. We have the uh, completely remote control camera set up, so we can be sitting back in the blind and operate the camera. They live uh, in uh, conjunction with buffalo herds. The buffalo graze on the grasses. The grasses come up new and green, and the ground squirrels love that. So it's a really harmonious situation with the ground squirrels and the buffaloes. Filming right at the edge of a pond. It's a bunch of buffaloes. <laughs> we are currently surrounded by buffalo, but they seem to be nice buffalo. I gave them the script the other day, and I think they've all read their parts. Um, we haven't hardly had to do any retakes. I think they know exactly what they're supposed to do. When I scream action, they all take off. He's trying to get these close, wide shots that really put you in the perspective of the animals. You have to really be up in their business, kind of. Let's go uh, up ahead of them so I can reframe it, reframe the group up against that really dark stuff. Okay, get us out of here. I guess I can check 
Bison in the Rain off of the list. But anyway, it's cool. I'm glad we did it. We have plenty of challenges telling this story. We face difficulties in weather conditions. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're hosed. You gotta be in it, really, to tell the story. Um, and it can mean suffering at times, but it's all worth it because that's what brings it home. It's actually an amazing opportunity to tell an incredible story.